Hi guys, Andy here again, messing about in the garage with the diesel heaters. Um, today I just wanted to do a quick video um, to see how we get on with uh, an extra long exhaust pipe. So if, if you're not familiar with these diesel heaters, um, that's the exhaust pipe guys. It's about, a, about an inch in diameter and you can't have it just um, indoors. It's got to be going outside, out the wall. Uh, to let the fumes out So this is how long the uh, exhaust is that comes with the machine and quite often you're going to want to extend it There's the little silencer Which uh, you probably most likely have outside they call it a silencer But I mean it, it goes straight through to be honest. There's like a bit of a baffle in there It doesn't do a lot, but then I don't think it needs to to be honest so this is a, an extension pipe which you can get for the, the diesel heaters. Um, this, this, this part here will go straight over uh, the exhaust outlet underneath the machine. Uh, but you will need to cut a little bit off. little tip for you there guys. You will need to cut a little bit off um, if you want it coming out of the machine there like that. You, you'll soon see why if you try it yourself. It's basically because you, you can't get the bend on this part, but you can get it in any of this like uh, concertina section. Uh, another little tip is as well, if you cut any of these parts, you won't get that over the outlet from the exhaust. So this is uh, one of the uh, extension pipes that you can buy on eBay or Amazon, uh, flexible. Um, and when you bend it, it, uh, it, it stays stays bent um, unless you want to bend it back and I've bent this round a few times and it's gone back perfectly um, and I've never I've not saw any cracks in it so uh, they're, they're pretty pretty robust um, these also come with the Jubilee clips uh, although then they're, they're no good you want to you want your own Jubilee clips the ones they come with that just throw them away so the uh the width of that is uh, 25 mil, um, and when joining this, this this will be exactly the same. I put some little slits in this with a, a one mil angle grinder blade, uh, so that one goes inside the other. There you go, and just just obviously fastened with a, a jubilee clip. Yes, yeah, the exhaust obviously just fit, fits nicely into that, and again jubilee clip again uh, but today I wanted to see how we got on with this uh, copper pipe already I, in just lifting that that weighs absolutely nothing um, the copper's quite a bit heavier uh, although right, this is a, a longer length but there's a, quite a bit more weight in that I'm just thinking of you guys in the camper vans that's all this 22 uh, mil copper does fit really nicely there as you can see look at that what a what a nice nice fit that is and with the, the slits in this this outlet pipe you're going to just clamp that together with a jubilee clip I mean if you want to be uh, extra careful a, a little, little bit of uh, exhaust paste around that to, to seal it nicely just screw that up with the jubilee clip and that's a nice tight fit so I've got this 22mm uh, pipe it's a three meter length uh, I just went and got this from the builders merchants not cheap anymore guys uh, you know everything's gone up hasn't it it's about 25 quid so I just wanted to see how we got on using this uh, this this kind of length with the heater uh, I mean I've had the the two meter length on with with no problems at all but some people say that you, you shouldn't extend the exhaust too much with these because it, it upsets the uh, the running of the machine. Um, maybe, you know, slows the fan speed down or um, make make it soot up a little bit more. Well, I'll see how it gets on with the, uh, the 3 metre length. Uh, and if it runs okay, I'm going to add the 2 metre length onto the end of it and uh, giving us 5 metres, done the maths there and uh, see, see how we get on then We've got the exhaust on the, uh, the copper part there look how what a lovely fit that is um, if you wanted to a little jubilee clip on that as well um, always remember as well that's the, the drain hole on the exhaust sil silencer so that any uh, condensation can run out the bottom
that's three meters we'll get the uh the heater fired up anyway i've got it running off uh, a battery here today because uh, the power supply sorry for moving the, the camera the power supply is under there the 12 volt power supply for the heater and uh, I, I couldn't put my hands on a piece of wire so I've just hooked the battery up and uh, we'll, we'll get it started see how we get on we'll see you know these take a, a few minutes to um, to warm up uh, and there's a little trickle charger that I, I use when I've got the uh, I'm running it off the 12 volt battery uh, there's a little trickle charger bought on uh, Amazon I'll put a little link link to those because they're a cracking little little piece of kit it's only like a size of a, a phone charger but with these nice crocodile clips uh, set on Amazon for about eight pound uh, the great in conjunction with your, your 12 volt battery so it was uh, a YouTuber that um, gave me this idea of using the 22 mil copper pipe. He'd done exactly this uh, in his summer house where he had the diesel heater. It wasn't convenient to exit the summer house with the exhaust gases. So he'd, he'd run a, a piece of 22 mil copper pipe all the way through the, through the summer house to the other end where it was convenient to dispose of the exhaust gases. Uh, killing two birds with one stone because he's also giving some more heat off the pipe as it goes through the place. Now, if you was going to do this yourself, uh, and if you've got one of these heaters, you you will know how hot that gets. You burn yourself on that in in a in a minute of the heater being on. So, uh, if you was going to run something like this through, uh, like your summer house or whatever and there's maybe kids or other people there you know you're going to burn yourself on that at some stage um, and you just have it added at uh, skirting board level but you probably want some kind of uh, a grid over that to stop you from burning yourself but uh, it could be used for a, you know for a number of things like having a little a clothes rail over the top of it to, to dry your clothes uh, but we'll see how we get on with the, um, the heat that comes off that and there's that ticking noise guys it started up again for those of you that are not familiar with these that haven't got one this is the, the the general startup there's a glow plug in there it takes about two or three minutes to warm up and uh, it's hot enough then to to burn the diesel or, or kerosene as we've we've got in this case uh, because it's cheaper than the diesel and then the little uh, ticking noise you've got in the back there is the, the diesel pump as it starts up. It can be a bit annoying, that, uh, the ticking noise, but if you uh, have a look on my other videos, uh, there's a number of ways to, to get rid of that noise if you, if you want to. And there she is, getting nice and hot. Yeah, that's getting hot. Yeah, but as I said already, you can't put your hands on that. that no, no, that. Oh, this will be interesting. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I've just um, I've tried the uh, the heat gun on the uh, copper pipe, and it, it's because the pipe's reflective. It's not giving me uh, an accurate reading. But I'll give you this reading. <laughs> that is hot. I'm talking. To, I've just started it up two minutes ago and already two meters away from the machine you can't put your hand on the copper pipe wow I can't believe that I know you know what copper is and how it acts but there you go it's, it's nearly it's nearly three meters just poking out the uh, the other side of the uh, the garage wall there and up to here I can no I can't touch it there I'm just about touching it there, but this you can't put you can't put your fingers on this, guys. Wow! Right, what they say about copper? And now you can't touch that there, guys. That's that's almost three meters. Well, that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this little experiment today to see how we got on uh, as far as the con conducting. Uh, properties of the copper. Look, that's going a different colour there. 
um, and to see how we got on with the with the three meter length from the heater to see if it um, affected the running of the heater at all uh, see if it annoyed it you know because that exhaust got to push out another you know three meters hasn't it to see if it annoyed the machine the fan speed uh, you know if it sooted up or whatever and to see if it uh, kicks out any condensation at the uh, at the other end I'll go and have a look in a minute but um, with the two meter length of uh, this log stainless there was no no condensation coming coming out the other side at all it's only it's only been on uh, what, five or ten minutes and uh, it doesn't seem to be upsetting the running of the machine at all yeah, that's all that sounds beautiful but look at this guys look at that how amazing is that I don't know if the camera's picking up these colours but that is fantastic oh look at that that's cool Beautiful. Look at that again. Now one of the things about doing these videos, I love your comments. Uh, please give us some comments, guys. Tell me why that copper's going that that beautiful colour. What's happening there? Some kind of uh, reaction. So I'm outside here with the uh, with the exhaust. You can't touch the copper. Oh, that's that's getting pretty hot as well. Um, there's no condensation dripping out yet. It's only like I said, it's only been on for ten minutes, but um, the the fumes coming out of it. They feel a little bit moist. I wouldn't be surprised if we did get a little drip of uh, condensation. In a little while coming out of that you see look I'm just trying to get a reading off it 15 14 15 degrees the, the concrete's the same as that it's just re reflecting off it as, as I knew it would so uh, we, we can't get a reading off that but if my my hand touch reading is hot very hot you can't touch it so yeah if you if you was to put one of these in you know, sort of like this skirting board level, uh, along a brick wall in maybe a, a shed, uh, house house or whatever. You could you could get some use off this to to heat uh, another room up, uh, like a, a passive heat, um, and maybe you've got the heater in another room attached. Uh, that could work. You'd, you'd obviously, like I said, you'd want some clips clipping it to the brickwork um, and, and some protection around it. I'm going to put the uh, this other two metre length on in a minute. Uh, that'll take us up to, to five metres and see how we get on. Um, if you haven't saw my other videos, pl please take a look guys. I've got one of these diesel heaters heating my house up it's pumping the hot air into my house it has been for, for the last three months in this cold winter uh, and I've actually turned my central heating off um, I've saved an absolute fortune with one of these uh, worth doing guys particularly how the, um, the cost of uh, gas and electricity has gone up okay, so we're back outside that's, that's, that's okay, I can touch that I can do this. Oh, that's not so. It's the copper, isn't it? It's the copper doing its doing its thing. And you see, I'll just put that um put that right over. And we're extending that to five meters now. There we go, guys. It's the two meters outside. Actually, can. See a little bit.
bit of, uh, there you go, it's, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, there's a little bit of condensation coming out of that now. Well, that's, that's growing, it's actually just shaded from another angle. It was actually more than a bit coming out. Okay, so we're back inside. Um, I've got the heat, you know, heater on uh, setting three, which is halfway. Now I might as well do this experiment properly and turn it up all the way uh, to number six, which is full power. So there you go. We'll see how we get on with this. See if that length of exhaust has any effect on the um, the machine. To see how we get on with the condensation in a few minutes. But there's, uh, like I said, there's, there's five meters of exhaust right there, guys. Um, I can't say that you'd want any more than that. You know, if you, you're taking the exhaust gases to another side of a building, a big building. But we'll see how we get on. It is quite interesting to see that uh, how the um, how the colours changing on this piece of copper pipe. Obviously that's that's a lot hotter that end and the heat, especially as I've turned the heater up now, it's getting hotter and hotter and it's sending that purple band further up that, that end where it's, it's copper and that's, that's turning yellow. Like I said guys, please give me some comments on this. I love learning from you, you guys. Again, I can't use the, uh, the heat gun on this because it, it just reflects. But you, you can't touch that. They, that's four meters away from the from the machine. You can't touch that. Wow! You can't touch that. I'm, I'm, I'm barely putting my fingers on the pipe just so I can get a feeling of it. I'm, I'm five meters away from the machine. There, I'm just. I can't. No, I can't hold it. Uh, so bear that in mind when you, you're thinking about fixing this to the wall or you know you might have pets or um, kids buy this pipe you know they, they can't be anywhere near this um, and you want to attach it to the wall you know with some u-clips or, or something like that and uh, again put a little something round it I would unless you're not having uh, you're not worried about that but that is five meters of a one inch pipe that you, you can't touch there's got to be some heat there guys there's got to be there's got to be one or maybe two kilowatts of heat that's coming off that exhaust pipe and i am running this on kerosene guys for those of you that don't know um, they run on diesel they run on a lot of things but kerosene is the uh, the cheapest fuel that I can find in run it on at the moment. It's £1.15 a litre uh, from a local supplier. And um, I said I've got, I've got one of these heating my house up and, uh, and that's taking two to three litres a day. So just a, a few pounds a day to, to heat my whole house up. But, uh, that's worked out, there's no fumes in there at all from that uh, little jubilee connection. Can't get over the colour of the uh, how the copper pipes change there. There's some heat in that. Back outside guys. Five metres away. Not too much condensation there. A little bit. is running fine. I'll just turn that down a little bit now. It's, it's proved its point. It's a good heater. I mean this is the main heat coming out here and it's really kicking some heat out. Heating this uh, this garage up guys. Very great little heater. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to these in the uh, description for you if you, if you want to buy one. Um, they went up in price, absolutely crazy, um, just after Christmas and stayed there 
uh, have just started coming down again now um, so I think now is probably a good time to buy one and, and of course if you saw my other videos you, you know they run on like diesel or kerosene and you've got to have a, a 12 volt either a battery or um, a 12 volt power supply and I've got mine under here um, because the, because the heat is normally here, up this end of the garage, the only reason I, uh, I moved it up that end today is to, to, to do this copper pipe experiment. But uh, I'll put a link to these um, little 12 volt suppl supplies there in the description as well. Well, I was uh, surprised with a few things today, guys. Um, I was surprised how hot this copper pipe got, and it sent the heat right up the other end, uh, you know, up at five, five metres away. I was very surprised with that. Um, I was surprised that there wasn't as much condensation coming out. Um, I'm probably not surprised that it, it didn't affect the heaters running. Um, I mean, long term, you, you might want to adjust uh, some of the clever settings inside the heater, fan speed or whatever. I've never messed with those myself. Uh, the heater's running fine. Uh, I don't want to mess up something that's already running fine. But um, thanks very much for watching, guys. And if you haven't already got one of these heaters, uh, consider getting one. Um, as I said the price is, is coming down at the moment. Uh, who knows, in, in a couple of months time they might even come down more when no one's buying them uh, as the weather you know, warms up a little bit. But thanks very much for coming to watch my video. Um, please have a look at my other videos, just click on my, my name, Andy Fireblade, and you, you'll see some more videos of these, uh, these heaters. And please give me a, a little like and uh, subscribe to the channel to help me on, with, on my way with my YouTube journey. Thanks for watching guys, bye then.